All right, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who were well. Peace and salutations to all the Sisiakim, enduring afflictions, making the calling and election sure. It's your brother Kabar. It's the brother Tazakath. It's the brother Kabroth. And uh, back with another one. Lord willing, this will be edifying to the elect. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakadash, Brakatam. To all the sincere listeners who may hear this. Um, Brothers got the script. Or you uh, may bring it. You, you got it. Uh, you, you got it. Yeah, go ahead, bro. <clears throat> this is a. Uh, Let's get straight to the point and it's brief and tell. We can start from four and then we could probably start again at one. Okay. This is Jeremiah 12 and four. It says, how long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. God, you know, this is the prayer, man. This is uh, Jeremiah praying, man, asking that question, man. How long shall the land mourn, man, and the herbs of every field wither, man? All right, because we understand this is not our rest, all right? The whole land, the earth, this is how the beasts are consumed, the birds, you know? And this is all because of who? Because, you know, eat the Edomite, man, the man of the field, man. Eat the Edomite. The red eat the Edomite, man. The wickedness of them that dwell therein, man. You guys are. Oh, you got one? Uh, I, I, you, you got it, bro. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 14 and 8. It says, I can, well, matter of fact, let me go, let me go up to verse, uh, verse 5. It says, this is Isaiah 14 and 5. It says, the Lord <clears throat> hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. And that's dealing with their power structure. When the Most High comes back, he's going to destroy their power structure. Man. It says, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. So nobody's going to care when this man is brought low, man. Nobody's going to give a damn, you know, because these people have went through the whole earth and been uh, rape robbing and, and, and destroying, man. So that nobody's going to pity them when they're finally brought low. This is verse 7, it says, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet they break forth into singing it says yea the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of lebanon saying since thou art laid down no feller is come up against us mm -hmm. so that's dealing with the wicked man you know once the wicked is brought low man you know uh the environment will be better and um you know people people mm -hmm. will be will rejoice man because they'll be under righteous rulership and, um, yep. you know, he, the, the, the scripture talks about how, um, you know, a righteous man has care of his beasts, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, so, I was thinking of that one. Yeah, you're kind. So ultimately, the animals will be happy, man. And, and um, you know, the, the other nations. Mm -hmm. That was the point. Con. You could get that word, uh, fella. Con, con. <laughs> God, let me grab that real quick for you, brother. Feller. Let's see what it says here. You you were using the blue letter? Yeah, copy. Let's listen to it. Strong's H thirty seven seventy two. Karath. Karath. There's a lot. Ka. Karath. Ka. Ka. So you know, uh, yeah, but we go into that word. And after this deals with, uh, with cutting, cut down, uh, cut mm -hmm. off. Uh, let's see. Cut down or destroy. So usually, you know, you know these devils, man. What they do is they try to, in this context, they're, um, you know, they're they're destroying. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. like we, like in the scriptures, we know that a, a, a cutting instrument can be used for either good, like good for the godly these things can be used as good for the godly like steel or cutting instrument can be used for good for the godly or it can be used for wick, uh for the wicked uh in a wicked way yep you know like a cutting instrument like this like this the scriptures it's a cutting instrument but it's used in a, in a positive way mm -hmm. and, and they use the scriptures in a, in a negative light that's right you know what i'm saying like like the slave bible Come you know <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, you got something about 
That was a cool one to land back, that point he just made. Yeah, cool. Con, cool. Con. You, you got yours first. Okay, Con. This is in the book of Psalms 37 and uh, 34. Um, just to get it to pull up. Okay. All right. Psalms 37 and 34. It says, Wait on the Lord, Yahabashim Haushai, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. But won't be those men, man, you know, where we see the wicked being cut off, man, you know. Let me see if that word is Karath as well. But, you know, that, yeah, that was really the point. Um, yeah, that's the same word. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. So he that was cut, cutting down is going to be cut down. You know? <sighs> yep. Uh, I got one, too, because, you know, it was touching on, too, uh, uh, touching on as well, uh, destruction as well, destroying as well. This uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou should, shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. You know, nice. You know, so it's time to cut down who's cutting down. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what time we in. I also had link up with that precept. You just brought out Kabar in Psalms uh, 37 because it says it's time um, that the, uh, the reward should be given to his servants, the prophets. You know, that's why it said wait upon the Lord. Who was they talking to? The servants. You know what I'm saying? Because you should see them cut off. And, and a part of the reward of the servants and prophets of Yahweh Shem is to see the vengeance of the Lord. You know, see the destruction of the wicked. You know? That's right. Mm-hmm. You got something? I got some uh, I got, uh, you read that. Can we read that Jeremiah 12 and 4 one more time? Then I got another one to piggyback. I mean, land back and see if I can. This is Jeremiah 12 and verse 4. It says, How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? Yeah, because I, it's like it, brother. I had seen a, um, a, um, pretty much a video where it was touching on like a whole bunch of starfish had washed up on the sea a whole bunch of dead fish been washing up on the sea which that you know has been happening for like a numerous last few years but um you know esau tried to say was well, because it's of, of warm uh heat you know mm -hmm. the heat heated waters but really we know it's because of you devil you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's not because of the heat you know what i'm saying it's because mm -hmm. you, you're the heat you know what i'm saying <laughs> yep so, so that, but that's an example of the land morning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's an example of, you know, uh, the, the the beast that were, of, you know, morning. You know, there's a little bit more than that. Uh, oh, God. It says, uh, uh, so the beasts are consumed, and the they see the beasts are consumed. You know, uh, and and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. Right, yeah, he should not uh, see our last end. That's uh, uh, that's that's what Esau Edom says. You know, he, he said, "Who shall see me?" God. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said to Yahabashim Ashad. This devil really thinks that Yahabashim Ashad doesn't see what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like Yahabashim right. Ashad sees what you're doing, even unto the animals, man. You know, you can't just just like uh, Numbers 23 when uh, Balak he, he tried to uh, smite the uh, donkey. Mm -hmm. You know, Yahabashim Ashad he seen about him about that, for that, man. You can't, cause, cause why? You have Hashem uh owns animals too. He owns the 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 land mass too. This is the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son's creation. And, and all the works therein, man. That's right. You know. That's so right. so if you do anything to any of the works therein, you have, you're gonna have to answer to Yahweh Hashem about that. You know. That's right. That's that's exactly right, man. You know. It says it says that He controls that the uh, the cattle on a thousand hills is His. Right? I was I was holding that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is fair. And I had a pre, a pre just to land back on what we, what we were saying, and um, um, and it says that in the, in the latter part of that verse, it says um, because because they said he shall not see our last end. Can I get a precept? Yeah, you, yeah, you got it. He shall not see our last end. And you go to Psalms forty nine and eleven. This is pretty, I was reading this precept. Like I had this precept. I wasn't like even gonna go to it, but I was. I had it like before we even start 
It's wow. listen, I was like looking at that. Yeah, that's this is wild. Psalms 49 and 11, it says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations mm. that call their lands after their own names. Mm. Well, Salaki, they call their lands after their own names. Yeah, so if you look at the latter part of that verse, it was saying that um, it says, uh, He shall not see our last end. So that's what the inward thought of the wicked is, man. It's like he, they, they will not see their last end. And that's why they think their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever in their dwelling places um, to all generations. And um, if you go to the next, ne next verse, which is uh, Psalms 49 and 12, it says, uh, Nevertheless, man being in an hour abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. So, you know, basically, he will not last forever, man. You know, he, he, he will be cut down. You know? Um, it says, This their way is their folly, yet their posterity approve their sayings. Salah. You know, but their ways are folly, man. You know? So they're, 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 they're headed down a path of destruction because the Most High is going gonna, gonna to cut them down, cut them off. <clears throat> and he's going to, you know, first he's hewing them, cutting them with the words of his prophets, man. That's how it is first. You gotta be reviewing it by the, by the mouth of the prophets first before it comes through that physical destruction. You know, we can make it cut first with the, by the prophets. You guys on? Yeah, I'm trying to make a second. I was reading some proverbs. Um, yeah, some proverbs too. Yeah, uh, Proverbs 5 and 21. This uh, Proverbs chapter 5, verse 21. It says, For the ways of men are before the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and he pondereth all his goings. You know, and that link over there, Sirach uh, 23 and 19, when it says, The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, you know, beholding all the ways of men, even the most secret parts. Mm -hmm. You know, so Yahweh Shai, you know, an example of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you go do something small to like a uh, animal or something and think you how about Shimon Shah didn't see that? Oh, he seen it. Mm -hmm. You know, you go abuse the water. You know what I'm saying? How about Shimon Shah seen it? You went and cut down a tree that you unnecessarily didn't have to cut down. You how about Shimon Shah seen that too? You know, you tainting, you you, you sprinkling, sprinkling mingled, mingled seeds. Well, that's why it's a law. Even even something that small, you how about Shimon Shah, <laughs> he, he sees it, man. You know, it says, verse 22. His own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, <laughs> mm. and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. Mm. You know, and that, and that link up with that uh, 13, that uh, Psalms 49 and 13. It says, this their weight is their folly, you know, mm -hmm. yet their posterity approve their sins. You know, so their way is folly, man, and in the greatness of your folly, you're going to go astray. We're, 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 where are you going to go straight to? You're going to go to an ashtray. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, according to Obadiah, mm. you know, verse 18, you know. Mm -hmm. Stubble. <laughs> Stubble. No, you got to. This is Psalms 82 and 5. Mm. Psalms 82 and 5, it says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. It says, All the foundations of the earth are out of course. And that's with these devils in power, man. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. You know, the, the, the water is messed up. The air is messed up. You know, um, men are lying with men. You know, um, what else we got going on? We got all kinds of... Uh, Terrible things going on, and the earth is out of course God. because these devils are in rule, are in rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I just want to grab that. Oh, I got a quick one. Wait, you got something to work? Nah, what you got? Uh, Isaiah 29 and uh, 16. Oh, Slacky, let me start at 15. This uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their. 
their counsel from the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. And their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? You know, he shall not see our last end. Verse 16 Surely you're turning of things upside down, like the brother was touching on about the foundations of the earth being out of course, you know, shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? And that's why it's woe unto you, man. That's why it's woe unto you. Because ultimately you tried to uh, say that the works of the Heavenly Father were imperfect, man. You know, they, 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 they were impure, you know. Which really your way was impure. That's why, you're, that's, that's why you have greatness of folly. You know, that's why your way is folly, man. Because to, to, to think anything adverse into the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahushua is folly, man. You know? So, and, and, you're, and you're turning of things upside down is going to be steamed as the potter's clay. You're going to realize you're nothing but clay. And Yahweh Shem Yahushua is going to uh, show you. You know? He's going to show you, man. You know? When he bringing forth the vengeance on you, man. You know? For turning things upside down, man. You know? I was holding that too. That's a fair. <laughs> yeah, you got. Are oh, you was holding that too? Up? No. Okay. You got it. So. Twenty-four and five. It reads, the earth. Start. You start at four. Up. Uh, uh, it says the earth mourneth and fadeth away. It says, uh, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. So not only is the earth and uh, the world languishing, you know, which can we get that word languish real quick? Because the, the, the earth and the world is languishing, you know. It says the Houthi people of the earth is, is uh, languish, languishing too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. And in Hebrew, it's pronounced Amal. Khan. You, you, got you, you got it, bro. It says uh, Amal. It says to be weak, to droop, to languish, to be exhausted. Mm. It says uh, past par par uh, participle. That's the right pronunciation. <laughs> of the heart it says to be weak to droop it says the second definition is just to be or grow feeble mm. to languish mm, yeah so these people on earth you know they're 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 feeble they're weak man they're exhausted man why because you know this this devil's a person he presses everything he presses a man even in him and his heritage, <laughs> his heritage you know what i'm saying so so you know everybody is tired man you know everybody is exhausted man you know See, it's, it, it's just uh, it's just nothing but all out oppression, man. You know that that's put forth by this devil, man. You know, so so you know everybody's feeling it, man. That's why you got you know you got 60, 70 year olds, you know fifty year old. Well, you got forty year olds, man. You know what I'm saying on pills. You know what I'm saying just to go to work that day, man. You know what I'm saying they got they got to pop their pills just to go to work, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's the the haunty people of the earth is languishing, man. You know. Five. Says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. And that's what it all go back to. You turn everything upside down, man. You know, you you went against the ways of Yahabashim Yahusha, man. You know, you 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 laid open your folly, man. You know, and your folly is gonna be your destruction, man. You know, ultimately. You know, because you you feel like you can make ordinances and you can make laws and you know you 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 uh, you got it. Well, basically, how about Shemesh? I'm gonna show you how much you got, man. You know, because because what 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 have the wicked done? You know, you you destroyed over forty percent of wildlife. You know what I'm saying? You you, you man, shit, the, your pestilences and your diseases and shit that you release into the air that, that kill people, man. You know these these plants and warehouses, or warehouses you build. You know these these wars. You know what I'm saying? Like you're mm -hmm. you're you're all about nothing but uh death, man. Well, you're the harbinger of death. You know. Mm -hmm. Just to land back. Uh, I believe Issachar is still going through it when it comes to those camps, man. You know, they still in them camps, man. <laughs> That's wild. <huh? laughs> That's wild, man. You see, so this this devil he's all about nothing but a, he oppresses everything, man. Everything, man. And you know another point out it says the herbs of the field wither. You know that these these devils they um uh, you know they have Monsanto, mm -hmm. and within Monsanto they um they they came up with some type of 
this was a, a while ago too, so I can only imagine what they got now, but they had something called a Terminator seed. And the Terminator seed made it so that you couldn't plant it nowhere else and get a yield. From, wow. Yeah, bro. Like if you go into that word Terminator seed, <laughs> That's these, crazy. these devils uh these devils came up with a way where you, the seed won't even germinate because they, they got a patent on it. It won't even germinate if you plant it in the ground. That's wild, uh <clears throat> Yeah. It's called genetic use uh, restriction technology. That's the word. It's called genetic use restriction technology. The day. <laughs> genetic use restriction technology, man? Wow. <laughs> you put a restriction on genetics? How the hell do you do that, man? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, that, that, that gives a new Sheesh, level of understanding to the herbs of every field withered. Wow. Yeah, that's so, heavy, huh? You know, when you go into genetic use restriction technology, let's talk about it's also known as terminator technology or suicide science mm. is the name given to proposed methods for restricting the use of genetically modified plants by activating some genes only in response to certain stimuli especially to, to, uh, to cause second generation seeds to be infertile and that's wicked man that's wicked as hell man see something like that to an average person you know what i'm saying that, well that's nothing but to y'all about shooting outside that's wicked as hell man you can't mm -hmm. do that man you know what I'm saying? You, you could be like, okay, that's a, uh, it's nothing but a plant. You know, you're just growing your own plant. But Yahweh Shema Shah gave you an ordinance on how you're supposed to grow plants, man. On how you're supposed to grow things, man. You can't, you can't fucking put restrictions on genetics, man. You know? That was bad. Genetic <laughs> use restriction technology. They don't even give land samples. I'm right here in uh, Leviticus. Let's get this. <laughs> so, uh, um, this uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 19. You got to go. Whichever one goes on. This uh, Leviticus 19 and 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. You know, that's, 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 that's the spirit. <laughs> Me and the brother Karab were just talking about this okay. last night. So, like, you got to grow. It's something called cryptids. And with these cryptids, it's, just, it's basically like a, a hybrid animal. It's like it, it's going into hybrid animals. You know what I mean? And with hybrid animals, it's something called a liger. And it's something mm -hmm. called a. Uh, 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 when it's a liger, it's like a male lion and a tiger, mm -hmm. female tiger or something. So they basically splice the genes of two different types of animals that aren't supposed to, two different manners of flesh. Right. They ain't supposed to be mixing. Right. And these devils do that, man. Kind of. You know, they even got the movie called uh, Splice. Splice, yep. <laughs> Good, man. You know, so it's, um, that, that's definitely a thing, man. He, he, Esau is definitely the, the, the devil, man, that the Bible speaks about. Mm-hmm. Good. Yep. Yes, I am. No, I was just going to add to uh, Exodus 22 and 18. Okay, I got a little bit more on this. Okay, you yeah. Get, you got to go. Let me just get that. All right. You know, that's, that's a quick one. This is in the book of Exodus 22 and verse 18. This is, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. that's, isn't that like a witch, though? Kind of. Like when you, when you, yeah. um, you create some type of technology that, that, that makes something Fertile or makes it sterile. Yeah, that's sorcery. That's yep. that's, that's sorcery. Yeah, yeah. You're Nine. making a, a plant sterile. Yeah, <laughs> Damn. that's wild. Uh, that's why I say the the works of every one of them are deep. Their wickedness is deep, man. Because Jake, we can't even think about stuff like this. Like you know, we hear stuff <laughs> like this, and we be like, like, what the? Fuck? You know, mind, what I'm saying? mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> Just plain you know man, dwelling in tents. <laughs> Y'all over here devising <laughs> wicked devices, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> We're plain men, but they're plain men. Yeah, so, they, they jump out of airplanes and, and try to you know, right. skydive. Kind of, yeah. We're plain men. <laughs> We're plain men, but they're plain men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, no. yeah they, they're out of here, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this back in that Leviticus 19. This is Leviticus 19 and 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thy, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. <laughs> just what you were just going into. Neither shall a garment mingle of linen and woolen come upon thee. You know? And that, and that's, bro, that's wickedness within itself too. Mixing cotton with wool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're the fucking devil, man. Devil, man. 
You know, you don't even have to do that, man. You know, but that's wickedness, man. You know, so even with within that, you know, Yahabashima Asha is very strategic on how he wants things done, man. If you don't do it that way, it's consequences and repercussions for that, man. You know, because why? Because you bring forth consequences on things that don't deserve it unnecessarily, man. Mm -hmm. You know, even the fact of you mixing fabrics, you know what I'm saying? You're doing that because you want uh, the children of Israel to go off against Yahabashim Asha. So ultimately, you want them to have consequences come upon them, man. You know, that's that, that's devising mischief, man. You know, that's wicked as hell, man. You can't do that, man. You know? And it started with that with that devil Gregor Gregor Mendel. Mm -hmm. He was taking the peas, and he was splicing the peas to try to get a desired result from the peas, and then just kind of grew from there. You know, so these devils, they they, they the wickedness starts off like that, and then it just reached reaches onto the heavens. Got that other one too. Uh, you got some out? Uh, it says in, in that in that scripture it says the beasts the beasts are consumed. What is Jeremiah twelve? Yeah, yeah, Jeremiah twelve says the beasts are consumed with the birds, right? Mm -hmm. You got one. You got, you got some out? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh Leviticus twenty five and two. It says, "Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them." When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord, Yahabashim Yahusha. Six years shall thou sow shall, shall thou so like it. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord, Yahabashim Yahusha. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor Prone thy vineyard. You got it. Ah, so you know. Well, here it is. Esau want he, he an Israelite. So so you're you're an Israelite, okay? You're 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 a Jew, you know? Because it said to the children of Israel. So okay, you're a child of Israel. Why the hell don't you do this then? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you do this? You know what I'm saying? You want to be a child of Israel so bad, but you what why why call us me Lord, Lord, but don't do none of the things which I say, man. You know? You, you, you're, you're hypocritical. You're, you're a hypocrite, man. You're an actor, man. And the, and the tabernacle of hypocrites shall be uh, burnt down, man. Job 15 and 34. You know. So you, 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 you damn, uh, you damn Edomites, man. And your wickedness, man. It, it, it excels past uh, uh, even uh, what, what, what normal levels, so to speak. Which wickedness is not normal. You know what I'm saying? But just just for lack, a lack of better word, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your, your, your wickedness excels past normalcy. You know what I'm saying? God. There's like, the, there's like the, you know, doing something bad and then there's like extremely <laughs> wicked. Well, you got sins unto death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That require you to be put to death. God, huh? God. God. Um, yeah, I'm going to go here real quick. God. All right. You got it, brother. Since, we talk, since I was talking about the beasts are consumed and the birds, um, if you go to Proverbs 12 and 10, mm. it says, uh, Proverbs 12 and 10, it reads, it reads, a righteous man regarded the life of his beast, mm. but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So, you, you know, the righteous, you're supposed to regard the life of your beast. You right. Guys, you guys okay? Now, I was just going to say, so like, uh, that, that proves that he's the wicked. That mm. proves that Esau is the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yep. Because the, because the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, look how you treat the animals. Look how you treat the beast. Yeah, he, he, you know. he sport hunts. God, we, yeah, we, we, we we God, that, yeah, God. Uh. You're a sport hunter. You trophy, trophy <laughs> hunt. You get the you, you go to get the big buck to fire him, fire him up in order to um to go and cut his head off and put him on your um above your fireplace. Man. That's wild. You know, you, you you go you go to kill because you have a bloodlust. That's the reason you killed it. Majestic creatures in the wild. You have a bloodlust, man. You don't, you don't regard the life of the beasts. That's nah. why it says. He's not satisfied with blood. Not, yeah, kind of, kind of, and that's why it says the beasts are consumed with the birds. Man. You know, they even, they even shoot the birds too, man. You know, they, they got something called clay pigeons. They practice shooting the birds with the clay pigeons. And then they go out there and then they go out and they really hunt the birds, man. They, uh, they call it uh, uh, 
animals uh, hunting in the rough. Uh, yeah, they hunt. They hunt the. Uh, I forget the name of those those, uh, those birds, man. It's a, it's a certain bird they go out and they hunt it. Um, they hunt. They hunt those birds, man. I forget the name. They, you know, all beasts. No beast is safe, man. Mm -hmm. No beast is safe. Uh, you know? Yep. They're extinct. They have an extinct list. Bro, over 40% of wildlife is wiped out, man. This devil, he tried to wipe out the honeybee and the mosquito. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, God. This, well, he actually has a, a elect, a electronically, electronic modified mosquitoes, man. This He want to make them the new uh, insects. Pretty much this devil want to do away with insects completely, man. You know? <laughs> when you need insects, asshole. You know what I'm saying? You need insects. You know, that's 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 why you have about see my shots gonna get you, but let's get this. You got you had some more on that up? Oh no, no, that was good. This Psalm chapter 50, verse 10. It says, it says, For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. You know? So Y'all about I said all the bills, beasts of the field are his, man. Everything, include an ant. What? It take Proverbs 6 and 6. Oh, oh yeah, slugger. Go, go, yeah, slugger to the ant. Y'all about my shot you know that the ant is valuable too. What a sparrow. It tell you a sparrow don't fall from the sky without Y'all about my shot. You know, so all, it, no matter how small or in, uh, I hope it's the right word, in minuscule, <laughs> you think yeah. something is, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's valuable to you. How about you, man? You know? That's right, man. Man, you know that? No, that was it. This is Job 5 and 22. Mm -hmm. It says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. They won't be at peace with thee. Get in my stuff. Shit. <laughs> 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 you know? Because yeah. they're going to be, because he waged war against them. Right. You know, so when it's time to go, when, it's, when, when the most high put that spirit out there, man, they gonna they gonna, doesn't the scripture go in um, in the apocrypha? It talks about um, the, the, uh, the teeth of wild beasts, mm -hmm. and these are used for uh, for vengeance. Yep. Mm -hmm. to, to lay on them scourges. Yep. You know, and um, and, and that, that's because of, of, of the Edomites, man. You know, and not just the Edomites. You know, but it's gonna be it's gonna come against you know everybody that fought against Jerusalem, but ultimately, you know. Edomites are the ones that are that are uh, you know that are destroying the planet on, on a mass scale, man. You know, and they they come against they come up against wildlife and, 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 uh, and nature in general. Yeah, that's, it's a consequence for that. You gotta pay for that, man. Yeah. You gotta pay for that, man. You know, that's why you have about Shah, He was getting pissed off about sacrifice too, man, because you can't just be going to kill animals at will just for your pleasure to sacrifice to me. You know, what I'm saying that's what it really was going into in Psalms 50, like like. All, all the beasts of the field are mine So don't be trying to bring me no beast To sacrifice to me, it's already mine Don't be killing shit unnecessarily, man Yahabashi Masha is all about moderation, man You know Kind of almost definitely That's even in the most high said he promised to feast Oh, let's get that <laughs> is, What is Ezekiel 39? Oh, God I think it's Ezekiel 39 Ezekiel, uh, what is it? It's like you, brothers. Revelations 19 too, but it's another one. It's a Ezekiel. Let me uh, 
Hold on. I'm going to this one out. Hold on. It's, another, it's one in Revelations 19, but it's another one, though. I can't remember how the word is called. Um, oh, let's get this one real quick. Hold on. This uh, Psalm chapter 79 and verse 2. It says, The dead bodies of thy servants have thy given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. So that's what's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. that's what, so uh, uh, should you, yea, go all together unpunished? <laughs> but uh, but yea, you should not go unpunished, man. Right. You know? Y'all about to see myself going to turn your own devices upon you. You know? Okay. But it's another one. Uh, the fowls. I think it's fowls. Yeah, 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 it is. It definitely is. It definitely is. I thought it was in Ezekiel. No, that was fine spelled in It's definitely Yeah, that's, that's, that's Ezekiel. Um, Ezekiel 20. Hold on, what's it like? Let's get this. You talking about 39 and 17? Is that that's the one? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, I, I know it was in Ezekiel 39. I'm Ezekiel like, yeah. 39. Yeah, yeah. Ezekiel 39. Yeah, yeah. Ezekiel 39. Yeah, yeah. Ezekiel 39. 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 Ezekiel Start 17. Okay. It says, uh, And thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, speak unto every feathered fowl, and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice Ooh. that I do sacrifice oh, hold on, for hold on, you. Like you. I just thought of something. Isaiah 35, I, I, I prepared, I got a sacrifice in uh, Basra. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. I, oh, and, and another one too. Terror should come upon him on every side. Mm. It said the beast come upon him on all on every side. You know? Mm. Mm. Beautiful. It says, assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you. Even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but you know, I got a great, uh, a great supper. You know, he got the last supper <laughs> for Yahweh Shah Mashiach and, and the disciples. He got the last supper for the fowls of heaven. That's right. Cause he gonna be on you damn devils, man. Cause you know, because the Most High, he set a balance in nature, man. Time. It's a corrective. It's like a corrective. Right. Stuff like that, it's something that comes back and gets you. Kind of, kind of, you know. That's uh, that's the course of nature, so to speak. You know, just like how uh, nature has its own course, you take that uh, nature out of its course, but it's gonna that course of action is gonna come back on you. You know, uh, I got this too. This is Ezekiel chapter thirty-one, verse thirteen. Upon his ruin shall all the fowls of heaven remain and all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches you know so look the the yahabashim asha gonna take you out the way but he gonna keep the animals you know it says to the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height and that's talking about you damn devils you know because your pump and your is, is high you know we know uh people can be likened unto trees man you know it says neither and, and that's the best of you because if a tree by a water you know what I'm saying? That means it's it's constantly growing, it's mm. flourishing. You know, so that's the best of you. It said, and that's you elites, because y'all gonna be the first crops in slavery. Mm. You know, it says, neither shoot up their top among the thick boles, neither shall so like it, neither their trees stand up in their height. All that drink water, for they are all delivered unto death to the near nether parts of the earth in the midst of the children of men, with them that go down to the pit. You know, and that's Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is joined unto you should be th uh, thrust through. You know, should fall by the sword, man. You know, so anybody, well, throw hands on the hand, the wicked should not go on punishment. You, you're going to die. And anybody who wants to be alliance with you and your wicked ass way, Terry Crews, you know, <laughs> you're, you're going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. um, and I got, I got one more. Y'all both got me? Um, uh, this Proverbs 29 and 2 
It says mm. when the richest, it's like you, when the righteous, well, the richest, the righteous. <laughs> when the <laughs> will be the richest. The <laughs> Good. When the rich, when, when, hey, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Yeah, that, and you know what? One more point. Uh, when you, when no, righteous, oh yeah, come, 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 come. When the righteous bear fruit, the people, the people rejoice, man. Because everybody's gonna be, everybody's gonna be, um, you know, in their natural order, man. And nobody's gonna be oppressed. You know, no one, no one will be oppressed, and and uh, and and Israel will be back in their right, their rightful place. You know, and and, and, and the way things will be like the, the Most High intended for them. Come, and even if you are uh, being oppressed, just just your natural order as well. You know, because it's gonna be oppression going forth, but you're gonna be oppressed. And, and that's that's gonna be natural. Yeah, oppression. that's natural <laughs> oppression. That's what you you were made to be oppressed. Yeah, <laughs> like like the brother uh, Kabar would say, made for uh, made for destruction and saved for slavery. <laughs> you know. Yep. Um, this was the this was the last one. Just, yeah. just because of, this is just because of, he says he shall I mean, Jeremiah twelve four he says he shall not see our last end. This is another example of him trying to uh, usurp authority from Israel, man, to take our our place, man. Mm. Um, if you go to uh, Ecclesiastes thirty-seven and twenty-five, mm -hmm. it says uh, it says the days of the life of man may be numbered, mm -hmm. but the days of Woo! Israel are innumerable. <laughs> Come on, <dog. laughs> you know. So the days of Israel are innumerable. Yeah, that's man. nice. That's Ecclesiastes thirty-seven and twenty-five. Yep. So the days of a life of, men, of a man may be numbered, mm -hmm. he says, but the days of Israel are renewed. Ooh, that's funny. And, this, and these devils talking about he shall not see our last end. <laughs> oh, you shit. will see your last end. It's Israel that won't see their last end because mm -hmm. they because Israel's days are numerable, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll read 26 too? Uh, so lucky. Like I got one quick point on that. Okay, it's okay. Love. It's love. <laughs> It says a wise man shall inherit glory. A wise man shall inherit glory. You're you're the children of fools. You're the children of fools. You're, you're not gonna inherit no glory. You're the base man. It says uh, inherit glory among his people, and his name shall be perpetual. And his name shall be perpetual. But you had a perpetual hatred, asshole. You know what I'm saying? So your name is not gonna be perpetual. You know. Uh, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. So, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahusha, Hashem, or Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and salutations to all the sisters here, Akim, adoring afflictions, making a calling and election sure. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.